Hey, what's up guys? Today it's a tad bit of a different video. It's not working on an older thing. It's actually a good old switch. But my left Joy-Con here just slides off. You don't press the button. So I got some new latches in. These are the metal latches. I'm going to do a video how to install these. Focus in. Yeah. They're really tiny. There's my finger beside, to, beside them. So first we're going to start by detaching the Joy-Cons from the switch itself. This one's still good, so I actually still have to press the button on this one, but just replace both of them. We can get the switch tablet out of the way, because we don't need that for this. And we're going to start by taking out the four tri-wing screws on the bottom of these, and I'll see you when I have that done. Okay, let the camera focus in. So I got all four screws out of this left Joy-Con. Now be careful, they are quite easy to strip, and you don't want to drill through your hand like beat em ups did. Uh, so yeah, we just want to pry this apart here, and work it back. You'll see the gaps start to open up. It's a lot easier to do one-handed. Now be careful, because there is ribbon, so you just want to fold it over like that. And here's the inside of your Joy-Con. So, we have to disconnect this ribbon, and the ribbon is right under here. You can actually do this without disconnecting the battery, but I'm going to go grab a piece of pair of tweezers, and we'll get this done. Okay, so, I got my tweezers here. Let's get this focused in. Okay, so I got this here, and you just want to take your tweezers. I'm trying to get a good camera angle for you guys. And you just want to pop that up, little piece of plastic up without breaking it off. And then you can just pull the ribbon cable gently out, like that. Now you want to move to the back here. camera focused in. Okay. For this one here, the plastic piece is actually in the front. Some people it's easier to remove this, but you gotta remove the battery, disconnect it, and take out three screws. So I'm just gonna ignore that and just pop that up. Just like that. Easy. Now this one, instead of pulling straight out, you actually have to lift it up and pull it out. But simple, easy, off. Now you have the rail detached, and you can put the rest of the Joy-Con to the side, and we'll start working on this. By first, we'll take off this Phillips head screw right here. Okay, now that it's apart, you just pull it apart. So after you take out the screw there, make sure you take that out. And don't lose this little tiny black button. It can fall out, and then you gotta put it back in. It's not difficult, but just don't lose it. Now, right there, there's a Phillips head screw, that black one. You need to take that out. Once that's, it, once that's out, you gotta pry this metal plate up. It's in there, it's pressure fit on both sides of it. Come on camera. Yeah, it's pressure fit here and down here. So you just gotta work on working this out. Okay, now that I've pulled the metal plate out, as you can see it has these two legs on it that are pressure fit into there and there. And I just wanna pull my tweezers in here so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. Just pull this up and try not to lose this spring. So I'm gonna actually grab that spring with my tweezers and pull it out using that. Because if you lose that spring, then you gotta go find a new spring. And my new ones did not come with springs. So let me get these out of the bag. Okay, so here are the two pieces side by side. Let the camera focus come on. I need to get a better focusing camera. There they are, side by side. Let me see if I can get it focused, zoomed in. As you can see on the plastic one here, right there, you can see a nick out of it, and that's why it slides off. You can see on the metal one, there's no nick, and the metal one's not gonna take that nick in the plastic, like the plastic ones. So now you wanna put the spring back in the bottom of this thing. Ah, you run away from me. But yeah, in the bottom of here the hole and you want to put the spring in there. Okay, now that the spring's in, we're just going to take this, put it back in the slot, making sure that spring goes in. Just like that. Simple. 
Sorry for the bad lighting, but yeah, there we go. Just like that. Now you want to take this metal plate here that you took off. The side with the hole to goes towards the other screws. There, now the metal plate's back in. You can take the screw, screw it back in. Not too tight, just enough to hold it in. And there it is, it's back in, you can press it down. Now you want to take this over here, you want to get this lined back up. It's a little divot on the end of it, that lines up in a slot, so it can only go in one way. Just like that. And you want to slide the new metal piece in, right there. And we'll put the little silver screw back in right there. And now that we have the screw in, everything's back together. We're going to put the two ribbon cables back in by putting them in and then flipping the switches back down. I'm going to do this off camera because it's going to be really difficult to do with only one hand. So just have patience with it. You might need tweezers, you might not. And if it gets too difficult, just take out the battery cover. But it's not that hard. So I actually decided to make this a little easier on you guys, so I'm going to show you how to take this off. Literally just flip the battery off. There's a screw right down here, a screw here, and a screw right here. And then this just lifts up. Just watch the ribbon cable on the uh, side there. Now you can get to these two spots here, the ribbon cable spot here, and the ribbon cable spot here, a whole lot easier. Okay, now that I have these two ribbon cables hooked back in, I'm just going to fold this over, ensure that ribbon cable is not in the way. One over here, and the two that we just connected. We just want to line it up. The camera is being a potato and not focusing today. There we go. And now this one has gold screws. Three gold screws. And they're both, they're all, th both all three of those are Phillips. And you just want to put them in. Now, got the battery and everything back in. Just want to fold this over. Line this side up. And then we just want to pinch it together. You hear a little bit of clicking, just on the one side. And just put your four screws back in, and your Joy-Con's done. Okay, now I have my switch over here, and my left Joy-Con now is done. We're just gonna slide it on in. Maybe. Clicks in there very solidly. That's not going absolutely anywhere. You gotta press the button in fully to get it off. Clicks in there very nice and tight. That's not going anywhere. So we'll put this aside and do the right side. But I'll just do a time lapse or a quick rundown of that. both click in and you cannot push either of them off so it's good 
perfect. And that's how you make it, that's how you repair your Joy-Cons that are loose and can come right off.